Okay, so first things first, you're trying to splice some wires to splice a pigtail, a single piece of wire, off of these to then install on receptacle. What we're going to demonstrate here is a method I like to fold the wires in the box correctly to allow room to install the receptacle. Okay, so first things first, we arrange the wires. <coughs> arrange the wires so they're not all crossed over, you know, not all jumbled. All right, so just separate color to color and get all the other wires out of the way. So we're gonna just put the whites at the top. They don't have to be at the top, but you see they're not crossing over or anything. Same with the blacks and the grounds. All right, so if you look closely, all the way in the back, push these wires to the far back corner as much as possible. Now I'm gonna go ahead and splice the pigtails off each one of these wires, these groups of wires, and then we'll go ahead and show the folding technique. One thing I wanted to add, here's what my cables look like spliced. Maybe it looks like too many twists to some people, whatever. This is a sound mechanical joint, as they call it in NFPA 70E, the National Electric Code for the United States of America. Now one thing when you're splicing, a lot of people make mistakes on, you see I've got my wires pre-stripped. see if I can get close and it'll focus here. Anyway, all right, the insulation is the white part, the conductor is the copper, obviously. Come on camera, work with me. Okay, so what's important is before you start to twist your wires together You want to make sure all the insulation is lined up like the top two here Then I'm going to line the third one up Then I'm going to splice them You don't want to have one up here Another one down there It's not gonna You could twist up the insulation and not make a connection a sound connection with the uh with the wires you might have intermittent operation and a whole bunch of other problems so prevent that line up the insulation first all right okay so if you can see come on and camera doesn't want to work with me today <sighs> cheese and rice anyway Now that's just see I just started to twist them together now I'm gonna make this splice that I'm holding my fingertips like the bottom two all right so I don't know why this thing's giving me such grief today but if you take a look let me see if this helps All right. See all the ends being so close, you don't see any overlap of the insulation in the copper wire. And that's a sound mechanical joint. It's tight, it's not going anywhere. And we'll go to folding next. Okay, so kind of hard to tell from this, but I'm trimming the ends that I spliced off the wire because I'm gonna put a wire knot on each one. So that's about three eighths to half an inch. And see, even after I trimmed them, I didn't have to go back and retwist them. They're sound. They're not going anywhere. Right, and if you look close, there's no copper coming to that wire nut. Everything's concealed up in there. No chance of something rubbing against something else and shorting out. All right. So, if you remember from the first part of the video, I showed that wire stuck all the way in the back ground push that back in there all right and what I'm gonna do is fold this like so all right 
And what we do is we push that in the box, way in the back, out of the way. See, it's way back in there. And this is a receptacle we're putting in there, and you can see there's going to be all sorts of space between there and the splices, which is what we want. So we do the same thing for these. I fold over one time. I fold over one time. Roll that in there. I'm pushing back, down, and then up, back in. Same thing with this one. All right, so all these wires are now way back in there. That's good. All right. <clears throat> Plenty of room for the receptacle. Okay, so now I'm going to trim this, put the receptacle in, and we're done.